very much like any other traditional musician, we don't have to do rehearsal. <laughs> we just know, okay, which piece, let's, let's do it. Um, so that's how usually in China, traditional musicians, they get together and kind of jam together. So uh, because this piece is a pipa solo piece, and so she basically company with me. It's kind of a support. Uh, normally I play if I just play solo, it's the solo work. So this is the one kind of a very typical style. Um, is that a couple Go ahead and finish it. Yeah, I'm just to say that's the style. A okay, lot of, you know, for, for people, a lot of uh, left handed details. Yes. Beautiful. Um, I was just going to ask a couple of things. One is, is that the, the clip, the, is that the, is that Dambigu? Uh, People always asking me that yeah. clip. <laughs> is that is the drum from the yes. beating up? Yes. Uh, it kind of imitated the right. wood block. Oh, it's the wood block. It's yes. not, it's not the, the drum with the high. Uh, for this kind of music, we're probably going to use wood block. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But something similar as the Beijing Opera. And the other question I had is, um, do you know when was this piece composed? Uh, uh, it's not composed. It's, this is not the case? It's, it's the... From, from a long, long, long time From a yeah. long time and by oral tradition. Okay. There's, there's the, a figure, you know, the do 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 that sort of ascending third thing. I mean, that's in, in the, Return of the Fishing Boats, right? right. You don't tell what. Yeah, there's yes. a like, similar pattern in the fishing boats. Right. Fishmen's and song. it's also in, you know, in the Kung Fu hustle when they have that. <laughs> <laughs> so is that just, uh, is, is that a figure that sort of that's moves the, from traditional repertoire? Into yes, like that's repertoire? the two, I think, from the uh, 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 Shanghai, Zhejiang, the area, that's the folk tone. Okay. So we use, we use those folk tones uh, all the time. Right. You will hear a lot of, and also, um, yeah, da, 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 Right. Yes. But then the more contemporary repertoire, that became more explicitly programmatic? Yes. Okay. But, it, but the, the figure itself goes back? Yes. Okay, that's, yes. that's interesting. Yes. Thank you. More questions? You, want, you have tons of Oh, you have tons of questions. There's so many. Let me. Or you, you have questions? Yeah, maybe I can start. Okay. <laughs> Actually, yesterday, you know, our library finally arrived a few of your CDs. You have tons of you know, recordings, mm -hmm. and one of the recordings is, um, I think, it's your solo, but it's all improvisation. Mm -hmm. So, what I know from my own experience in China, conservatory system, uh, improvisation was not a part of curriculum. Mm -hmm. So, what's your experience, you know, uh, during the last twenty years in the West about doing uh, you know, improvisation? Um, well, that's very uh, great question. Um, actually, I always want to talk about that, uh, well, in the traditional, uh, my teacher's generation, which is, you know, older, they already passed away, they all improvise. Um, like, uh, we call silk and bamboo music, that's based on improvisation. That's all improvisation. And the Cantonese music, also improvisation. I think any traditional music is all improvisation based on that. And like the da 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 da, and then we right, based on improvisation and become different pieces. <laughs> and uh, um, um, for China, the modern history, because the, the, the this kind of specialty uh, history, because the specialty is we lost everything <clears throat> we want to control, we want to central, you know. So all the notate, we notate down the older generation mastered how they play those traditional tunes, uh, especially the folk tune, <laughs> and then we notate that we publish. So all the younger generation follow that sheet to play. Um, um, we of trend from music conservatory. That's how we learn the traditional folk music. Um, uh, we lost the, the, the other side, which is the improvisation, the freedom side. <laughs> uh, and uh, when I came to this country 20 years ago, I had experience, I, I was talking about a little bit this morning, I played with a jazz musician, and then they, they based on all improvisation, and in the studio they just say, everyone take turns to solo, and all was very enjoyable, and then suddenly they said, Uma, your turn, I said, what am I turn, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> to play solo, I said, what am I going to play? Um, anything you like. I said, what about Chinese tunes? They said, oh, fine. Um, so that's how I, <laughs> that's how I kind of 
through all the experience, work with the different musicians from different culture background, and then I, I kind of remind myself, like, what about Chinese music? Because musicians always ask me, what, what is Chinese traditional music? Do you do improvisation? I said, yeah, let, wait a minute, let me think about it. We actually do, but we, my generation didn't. Um, I don't know if they still have or not. Well, in the conservatory. I think now improvisation improvisation became you know become gradually a big part of a curriculum. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. that's good. Mm -hmm. um, it's all through my experience, and I started uh, start doing that, and I enjoy it. I loved it. Yes. Now, um, when, when you did you go to New Haven first? Yes. When you first came? Okay, and then oh, wow, you so really know. <laughs> sort of getting your roots down in the U.S. and so was that the time that you started playing jazz? And I wanted to ask like how you got into that and um, did you have experience doing that before or like did you have someone mentoring you in that? I did not know jazz when I was in China. I had no idea what a jazz means. What, what is jazz? We never <laughs> heard of jazz in China. I came here, of course I, you know, book to talk about American music history, the jazz is a big part of the American music and uh, um, I started listening, you know, people sometimes introduced me to Kennington, Big Band. And, um, and then when, um, I think the music community is small, and I played it, uh, when I arrived in this country, I played mostly in Chinatown area, in New York. We have a Chinese ensemble. So we give concerts somehow, you know, downtown area, all these musicians, but was very uh, interesting, creative musicians live in that area, and they, they will pop, pop it up all the different concerts. So they, they came to my concert, and they saw, they heard uh, this instrument. And then, while I was living in New Haven, yes, and then first time I heard and just jumped in, I had no idea, jumped in with, the, with their band. Just shake hands and hi, my <laughs> <laughs> And then, just let's try it. So, that's how I started. <laughs> so you started um, learning traditional Chinese music first? Yes. Um, and then my question is, um, you studied, or you went to the music conservatory in Beijing, how was studying like your pitch classification system compared to ours here in the States? Pitch? Like, you have the pentatonic, the five, right. right? How, like, is it... The whole system, how we, how we learn? Like, yeah. Or, and how much did you, did you study a lot of, like, Western music in the conservatory? Like, um, how much did you, like, study? Well, um, at the home, privately, I started with the, with the traditional music. And, uh, uh, yes, it's, it's a pentatonic, sort of pentatonic, not mm -hmm. necessarily Chinese yeah. music, a pentatonic. Um, but um, so we have uh, traditional notation mm -hmm. uh, we learned, which is a number system, right. and I think also kind of adopted from Japanese. Uh, they they shakuhachi they use that notation. So I think the Chinese kind of adopted that. But the ancient notation we have number. Uh, we we have like description. It's not the notation. It's all uh, you know which finger, which string, which are you plucking or you okay. this more so more described to the kind of um, so later we have the numbers I learned the all number system uh, notation and then uh, uh, move move go do always mm -hmm. do mi do mi never say oh we we singing always do re mi fa so la ti we never sing a b c d I I couldn't work for me a b c d I like. Like my, my son, he plays piano, and I, I asked him to sing. He couldn't sing at all. Mm -hmm. It's all here, but I said, can you sing out? Like, da la la da la la so. So he couldn't. He, a, 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 G, you know, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different, uh, it's a different yeah. system. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but in the conservatory, we have to learn Western both. Uh, we have to learn Western notation and Western theory of music history 
uh, which is all uh, to, before.